Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I never thought I'd have to make a video like this because it's literally this easy. But as you can see in the name of the video, <clears throat> I'm going to show you, and many people like you, how to stream directly from your Xbox One to either Mixer. Right now, we're going to stick with Mixer. There's plenty of videos out there on how to stream to Twitch, but we're going to stick with Mixer. Um, and the reason I'm making this video is because a few nights ago, I had a gentleman, a pretty cool guy, not going to say any names, um, come into the chat, we were playing 2K, and he was streaming to Facebook from his phone, but he did not know you could stream from your Xbox, and he seemed to be mesmerized that we were somehow doing this, like we were magicians. Um... I'm not a magician, by the way. But, yes, in fact, you can stream directly from your Xbox. And how you do that is, click your home button, scroll down just a little bit right there, and you click Broadcast Your Game. It is literally that easy. For new people, it will say Set Up Your Broadcast. And what it's going to do when it, set up your, when it sets up your broadcast is actually going to use your gamer tag as your mixer name. Um, and it's that easy. You, you click that, you know, you go through the setup process, you agree to some stuff you don't even read, and you're in there, like some swimwear. Um, but just to give you a quick tour of how it works on the Xbox One, um, as you, plenty of you know, if you've ever used OBS, Elgato, um, to stream to Mixer or Twitch, that'll be a whole different video because that's a whole different setup. But as far as for the Xbox, this tour will pretty much, um, if you have friends that want to know where your mixer is on the mixer uh, webpage, you have the free range of showing them that your mixer, uh, how to look you up would be, so if you wanted to find me, it would be mixer.com forward slash kidiv6. Um, you actually, from here, I don't think you can do it from here. Yeah, you can change your broadcast title. So if you don't want to go to your computer um, and change it, you can change it from here. And you actually can go to your channel from here. So you can't broadcast and go to your channel. So keep that in mind. Um, and I'll get to some specifics here later. Um, but that's how to actually change your name, show people where you're streaming to. Um, <clears throat> here is where you would actually start the broadcast. If you click this, we're going to start... Um, broadcasting to Mixer um, with a lag time of about, if you click, it's going to take about 15 seconds or less for it to actually start broadcasting it. Um, <clears throat> you have four options to turn on on or off, microphone, camera, chat, and, or include party audio. The microphone is self-explanatory. It's going to use your headset mic to put your voice through the, uh, the game. Or through the stream, uh, the camera you have to have a connect to be able to use a camera from your Xbox. The chat is always, always I cannot show you, it's always in the wrong place. Like no matter where you put it, it's gonna be over something that is valuable to you winning, and it's it's just gonna shit on your dreams. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. If you want to use the chat, use it. I do just because I like my dreams being shot on. And the next one is include party audio. Um, if you have a really good headset like I do or a couple of my friends do, um, if you click in ch include party audio, I will, oh no, I'll step back. If you have a really good mic or a really shitty mic, it's going to make your headset or it's going to make your friend's voices echo. And it's because it's picking up um, their voices from your headset and it's going through the mic. So I know some people that you know, that kind of seems back if you have a bad mic, but it's where the, you know, the sound is not being contained through the um, earmuffs on the uh, headset. And down here, where you know you include the chat, you do have the option to move it, but it's still going to be in the way. It, it's still going to be in the way. Um, <clears throat> and here we have a couple of advanced settings. Now, this is where you actually can fix, you know, if you have a mic that's echoing, um, your friends inside the game. This is where you actually can, you know, up the volume of the mic, up the volume of the game and system volume, 
or you can change the video quality so if you're getting like uh, really laggy uh, or a choppy stream you actually can switch it over here from you know higher standard uh, as far as what I've seen whenever I switch those there's not really much of a, much of a difference if you do switch to standard you are less likely to lag obviously um, but those are your, your advanced settings it doesn't seem like much but it will change your stream a lot it'll make it a lot easier for you to hear the game so that is one way to actually switch the volume of your mic um, on Xbox One. Um, other than that, the only really the um, only downside to streaming directly from your Xbox is you don't have the limitless range of adding, you know, Twitch alerts to your stream. You don't, you can't really add um, video cam if you don't necessarily have a connect. So you're kind of limited. But for those of you that just want to stream and share your game, it's a very good option. Um, and I figured I'd make a video for my boy Blue. Oh shit, I said his name. Oh well, it's not it's not even in his gamer tag. But it's an option that you guys do have to um, to be able to stream directly to um, Mixer or to be able to stream. Period. Like I said, I can I will and can make a video on how to stream set up your stream from. Um, Xbox to Twitch that'll be another video so if you want if you'd like to see that video if you'd rather stream to Twitch leave me a comment down below in the comment section and make sure to like the video and thank you guys for watching